Good evening to everybody. I would like to, on behalf of Sasso, I would like to thank you very much for this opportunity that you gave to us to be sponsor of this uh, very nice show. So I will talk a little bit about myself, about my company, and then I will start some demonstration on our flying flat. I'm the second generation owner of uh, Sasso. We are in business from 1974, so we are celebrating 43 years of business uh, this year. There is, a, there is a little demo, a little movie of our machines that is going on uh, over here, the way you can see. Um, we also have uh, a company. We started a company in Canada in 2012. The name of the company is uh, Sasso Canada Stone Machinery. We are based over here in uh, Mississauga, and we are uh, so providing uh, local service since we have uh, a local technician uh, that is a very talented one, is Giuseppe Guccione, that is going to execute the demo uh, in a while. We also have spur parts uh, locally over here, so we are able to supply, let's say, a very good service to, uh, to our customers, and we are taking care of the installation and training of all our range of machines directly from, uh, from Canada, actually from, uh, from, from the GTA, from Toronto. Uh, Sasso is uh, producing uh, uh, edge polishing machines, uh, um, CNC saws, uh, traditional bridge saws, uh, and all the a full line of, uh, of edge polishers and polishing machines for, uh, for marble and granite, especially the, um, the monohead polishing machine for, uh, for slabs. Okay, so I will uh, uh, say to Giuseppe Guccione, our technician, uh, to, to start the, the demo, we are uh, uh, starting to running our, our flying flat. Uh, the flying flat is an edge polishing machine for, for straight edges and bevels. It's a vertical machine, it's very compact, uh, but has a big uh, potential of work because uh, it can run uh, pieces. Now we are going to go to, to run a piece of, uh, of quartz at uh, about 50, 60 centimeter per minute. Uh, so we are talking about close to two uh, feet per minute uh, speed wise and i want also to thank to the russia supply for uh, for making it possible with these tools and sponsorizing these uh, this demo uh, the machine has uh, one uh, front spindle for uh, uh, for start polishing the, the edge, uh, that is a stationary one, uh, or can also be a calibrator water drip edge in case it's a, it's a need. Uh, then we have uh, five heads uh, with a micro oscillation that are polishing the, uh, the stone. Uh, the micro oscillation is very useful on a machine like that because uh, since the heads are, are moving uh, are not fixed, uh, uh, the water is able to go between the head and, and the material, and so it's, it's very gets easier to, to work on, on granite, on, uh, on quartz, and, and also on, uh, on very high thickness. Uh, after that, we, have, uh, we can have two or four bevels on a machine like that. Uh, the bevels are located at 45 degrees uh, on, on both sides uh, in order that you can uh, do a bevel of uh, two, three millimeters, and you can, uh, you can polish it. Uh, the machine is, is running. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's very, very simple because uh, you can set uh, the, um, the pressure on any single spindle and then you start, uh, you start the machine and you, and you run the piece in. Usually when we deliver a machine like, uh, like a flying flat uh, uh, that is uh, mainly a plug and play machine, but we also uh, are usually delivering uh, one day of training and installation to our customer only to make sure that everything goes right. I mean, sometimes uh, there are operators that are not experienced on the, on the, um, on the edge polishing machines, so we, we are always taking care of the fact that uh, we, we train very well our customers and, uh, and the operators. Uh, I think in a while the first piece is going to, to come out from the machine. The, um, uh, the speed of processing now is uh, 61 centimeter per minute, I, I can see. So it's uh, two feet per minute. Another very good thing of the flying flat is that uh, you can access to the machine very easily. There are two doors in the front that you can, uh, you, uh, are made in fiberglass and you can open it and access to, to the machine. Once you open the, the two doors, 
you see everything in front of you. So to make maintenance or 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 to access to see how the condition of the machine is very very easy. We are also locating uh, the greasing points uh, basically in two points in order that we are. Uh, it's very very easy again for your operator to uh, to, to grease the machine. Um, we suggest to grease the machine once every 15 days. Uh, and that's why we made it so uh, so easy because you don't have to let's say to take out uh, any any part of the machine. You only have to open the front doors uh, and then you have everything in front in front of you. Um, the machine can be put at very close to the to the wall because uh, at the back of the machine there is nothing that you need to open and to access. All the access are in the front. Um, many of the customers that are getting the flying flat. Uh, they don't really have so much space to dedicate to the machine. And that's why we engineer the machine in this way, because you only need some space in the, in the front to, to access to the machine. But anyway, you need to leave some space in the front too, because you need to load and unload, uh, and unload pieces. Uh, um, the rolling way is at the beginning and at the end of the machine are six feet uh, um, long, in order that you can uh, also hold uh, uh, big pieces. Uh, even though we don't suggest to, to work pieces, since the machine is ver working on a vertical way, we don't suggest to put pieces that are taller than four feet. So um, that's because uh, when a piece is, uh, is, is very tall, uh, uh, it, may, it may crack on top, let's say, and it can hurt the operator. So we always recommend to be very, very safe while using the machines. As you can see, the machine is completely hot galvanized. This is also a, um, a, sp a special thing of Sasso. All our machines can be completely hot galvanized. We are also hot galvanizing uh, uh, the polishing machines. Um, the hot galvanization has uh, many advantages, uh, especially for the fact that uh, uh, it doesn't get uh, uh, any rust. So the machine will last for, uh, for, for long. Um, over than that, we are using, uh, if you will uh, have chance to go and, and see the machine uh, um, by, by close, we are also using a lot of, uh, of stylus steel, especially on the rolling uh, um, ways, uh, on, the, on the pressure rollers, in order that the roller will not get, uh, get stocked with, uh, with water and with, uh, with, with dust. We are using a stylus steel frame under the belt. This is very important because uh, once you are running the machine for many years, uh, the belt is, uh, is, is putting some pressure on, on the bench. So uh, instead of replacing the old bench, uh, you are going to replace uh, the stainless steel plate after, after a few years that are running the machine. Of course, we have also this part in stock in, uh, in, also in the uh, in, in US and Canada. So it's very easy for us to replace it. Uh, Giuseppe, I think that uh, the first piece went out. Uh, can you show to us uh, the, the quality of the finishing? Uh, I hope that you guys can, uh, can see it. And I hope that from the camera will be easy to, to see the quality of the finishing. Again, we are going at 60 centimeters per minute, two feet per minute on, uh, on, uh, on a quartz. And I see some guy that is going over there to, to, to check the quality of the, of the finishing. Uh, the, these flying flat that we are actually operating over here is the fourth generation uh, flying flat. Uh, the flying flat uh, is a machine that uh, was born in 2002-2003, and so in the years uh, we did a lot of uh, of, uh, of changes, um, especially in the inside of the of the machine, where all the spindles uh, have increased uh, their um, uh, their uh, capacity and also uh, they are uh, much more uh, they are totally water waterproof we have in fact uh, uh, a rubber bellow on the top and then we have two labyrinths uh, on the very um, initial part of the of the spindle all the water that goes inside the machine gets connected that gets collected almost all the water gets collected uh, by few pipes uh, on the on the left side of the machine, 
and so it's uh, it's easy to uh, as you can see uh, from here it's, it's easy to operate the machine uh, let's say without having uh, so many water going around from uh, from your shop we did it very fast we installed the machine very very fast I hope that we have enough water to run it because a machine like that requires to have, uh, let's say, um, 70, 80 liters uh, per minute. So we are talking about uh, um, uh, 15, uh, 20, uh, 20 gallons per, per minute uh, at least. And for, for the rest, it's, uh, it's really, really. Uh, very easy to operate. There are buttons on, on the front of the machine where you can basically select uh, the first three, um, uh, switch on the first three heads uh, in the in the edge, the last two heads, uh, uh, the, the one of the two or, or both uh, um, bevels, uh, the first head that can be calibrating unit or, or another polishing unit, uh, and you can switch on and off the micro oscillation. So basically, you can work with this machine in any condition. Also, if you have a, if you have a piece that is very very soft and you want to use uh, uh, the all of all of the heads of the machine, you can uh, switch on, for example, only only three heads, and so it will be easy to uh, to polish even a very very soft material that will. Uh, Will get too much, let's say, consumed by by too many heads. We are running other. Uh, while I'm talking, we are running other pieces, uh, and so you can uh, you can see f from here how how easy it is to operate the machine. Once you put the piece inside the machine, you don't have to do anything else. Only wait the machine to the the, the piece to go on the other side and to and to unload uh, the um, and to unload it. Uh, this is very good for uh, for commercial jobs or for countertops or for for backsplashes the machine can run uh, that same person can load and unload the machine um, again we have uh, we own uh, Sasso Canada stone machinery that is a company that is based in uh, in Mississauga so we will uh, deliver a full service uh, to to you we will deliver the machine over here will take care of the installation and training at your place so you don't need to go anywhere else than your shop to to get trained on this machine we usually stock also the machines over there so um, uh, right now i think we have two flying flats here in stock in uh, in uh, in toronto and we have other machines in stock at our sasso usa in uh, in our location in chicago that is also very close to uh, to here as uh, as you know, I see that pieces are, are coming out, uh, and uh, you can go over there and check by yourself the quality of the of the finishing of uh, of every of every piece. We also have over here a thief marker that is our uh, uh, regional sales uh, manager. That is the the gentleman over there with the with the with the black uh, dress. It is the one that is. Uh, in Canada all, all, all the time and they want to make uh, let's say Can Sasso Canada happen so uh, I would like to, to give the, the, the word to, uh, to, a, to Atif Marker right. and I would like you guys to, to thank uh, uh, Atif for, for joining us to this, uh, to this demo thank you Atif hello thank you everyone who are here you know uh, we wanted you to show what a machine can do in terms of polishing and all it's a very straight simple machine Easy to use. You don't. Uh, uh, you, uh, a starting person can start running the machine. You don't have um, to have an expertise in order to operate that machine. Um, please go ahead and look at it. How it runs. What it does. You can see the finishing of the product. Thank you.